Judy's with me, yep. suffering a little bit of, um, what have you got, uh, hay fever. <laughs> she's done a COVID test, so she's all right. So I decided, yeah, it's safe for me to take her out. We are at the G'day Park, Fremantle Village, if you can hear it amongst all the traffic. It's uh, down close to Fremantle. It's about 4.5 kilometres to walk, but we're going to catch up. Yeah, wherever that might be. We'll find it, and uh, yeah, we're heading into the Fremantle Markets. It's the 4.5 kilometres away, isn't it? Yep. Okay. We'll go and see what uh, Fremantle's all about there. Maybe have some lunch there. We've got a busy day though. We've got a wedding to go to this afternoon, so we have to be back by what? About two o'clock. Yeah, about two o'clock. Wedding starts at three. Yeah. So uh, be a quick trip. See what we got there. We we're here till Wednesday. Uh, the 14th. Uh, I think it's yeah. So it's, uh, it's Saturday today, so uh, we've got a few days to do the old catch up with what we need to do. Alrighty, just a quick trip down the old, uh, the old highway there on the bus and we made it to Fremantle Market. Oh, nice. Yes, we have. Cool. So we're going to get lost here for uh, an hour or two. Yep. And then uh, hopefully then we'll be uh, here bearing clock <laughs> for lunchtime. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's go and try it out. Oh, we just bumped into some friends in uh, Fremantle here. What's the odds? So we're just um, going to head into this little pub. Go and have a drink. But uh, got the old tin man over there. Here's the crew. Alrighty, well, as you can tell, we're back at the caravan park. We had a great day out at the uh, Fremantle Markets. Yep, yep, had a great day. As you would notice, somebody's trying to copy my fashion sense. Uh -huh. hey, you've, got, you've got the, uh, what is it, the Afro blonde hat. It's yep. taken, a, taken you about 10 months to get one like me, but she's in the scene. Um, what else do you get? Oh, I got the spray bottle. It's awesome. You pump it up, and when it's really hot, you can spray yourself with water. Very right. good. Good little bargain. Yep. And I got some nice, um, what's those, macadamia brittle, which I love. I love macadamia brittle. So between that and having a nice, uh, nice uh, cider, nice beer. What did you have? A nice, uh, what was that called? That uh, bourbon or something? Yeah, it was a bourbon. Was a... It was more like a liqueur bourbon. It was awesome. Mm, so. We're going to be back at the caravan park, get ourselves cleaned up, and uh, back to Fremantle. And uh, to a wedding. Until we can catch up for a wedding. So, uh, yep, she's been all go, but uh, look forward to get back there and seeing her in a little bit more depth later. First time I've seen these, I suppose everybody's going, like, yeah, I know where those are. So, yeah, it's just a little water pump. Pump it up a few times in the bottom. Got a little bit of water in here. It's got a little spray jet at the end. And, uh, Cool yourself down. Good morning everybody, we are having an awesome Sunday morning. Walk on the beach. Walk on the beach, with who? Dink. <laughs> <laughs> so we're walking down on CY O'Connor Beach. Definitely a uh, popular spot, everybody else is out here running their dogs and uh, enjoying the beautiful day. As people do in Perth, come out to areas like these. So we're going back down into the uh, Fremantle. Markets will be open again. I might go and have a look at the uh, Fremantle prison and see what that's all about, eh? Yep, do that. Folks out there enjoying their paddle boards. Look at all the boats. And your little islands you can go out to there as well. 
This one's right over here. I think that's that one right over there. Oh, what a huge amount to take in. 1850s, still in use down to what 1991 or something, I think it was. But uh, a grand old uh, prison, and uh, yeah, some fantastic stories that the uh, the tour guide or the prison warden told us. So uh, it's a must do. There's there's lots of different tours you can do too, which is a little bit sort of confusing on which one you want to take. Probably entices you to come back and take another one later on. But uh, yeah, the one we did was. Um, yeah, pretty good. Really enjoyed it. So that's the uh, Fremantle Prison here. Um, come and check it out. Very nice. Well, here we are, out walking again. Got two purposes. One, we're doing a nice healthy side of things with walking, but that makes room for what? Uh, we're going to catch up with some friends of ours. Cool. And whereabouts? Little creatures little, that they're open. Little creatures. Awesome. Yeah, nice little brewery um, just on the, uh, the port area or the marina side there of uh, Fremantle. Should be nice in there. We hopefully get a seat. It's very popular. And uh, that gives us having this walk. Gives us a little room to uh, enjoy a little bit. And then we'll either walk back or catch the bus. <laughs> <laughs> well, our walk from our uh, caravan park to here brings you past obviously the marina and the uh, harbour side of uh, Fremantle which um, can be contributed well, to its how well it looks and how awesome it flows in bits and pieces can be contributed to the uh, I think it was the defence of the America's Cup back in uh, 1987 I think it was so obviously a lot of money was put up here for the teams accommodation um, retail, stadiums, bars, and uh, yeah, still today, here we are, you know, 2023, and uh, you know, everybody's still enjoying the, the amazing facilities that have been set up because of it. So uh, we'll have a little quick whip around this area. So there you have a, a bunch of sheds all down on the left-hand side. They would have been partly there or have been built since then. Stacks of fantastic marina space for all those beautiful launches, pleasure crafts and uh, and businesses as well that um, leave here for rotto and tours and fishing trips and things. Not to mention too all the, uh, the maintenance side of things as well. So there you have the Fremantle Arbor. There's a little message board over here too which give you an idea of the, uh, the expense and the amount of businesses that are down on this uh, harbour. A little red sign up there gives you an idea where we are right now. There we go, at last we made it. And geez, it's hot and we definitely need a cold beer. So it's been around for a long time, Little little Creatures. It's one of the uh, sort of boutique type beers that started out. And now there's thousands of them. We'll pop in here and have a little tipple. Cool down, refresh, and catch up. We already hate, well we found a seat and then to have kind of disappointment we found out we're here too early anyway the guy's been nice enough to bring some h2o by the way have you seen the h2o falling from the roof up here too yeah got some uh, great misters especially with it so hot it's great yeah that's how you keep nice and cool wa style um so yeah little creatures we're here it's gonna uh, we'll be able to get a drink around about 11 o'clock um just a little history i noticed here over, over on board little creatures started back in 1999 so uh, 23 years, so gives you an idea how these sort of microbreweries and bits and pieces sort of developed way back then and man, stronger than ever. It's a nice little friend behind it. Yeah, he's amazing. They build them tough there. Turn around and have a look, there we go. I think Little Creatures was also built um, on an old uh, crocodile farm. I don't know whether it was this original site, but I guess that's part of the reason why that's there. But Look, perfect little good boat. It's buggered already with those tooth marks on the side. <laughs> All right. We'll sit back and enjoy a couple little drinks, wait for some friends to arrive, and um, see what the rest of the day brings.
Right, so we're down at Little Creatures, and I'm sorry I got stuck into it a little earlier than uh, expected, but applying a, a few little tasting paddles here. So we got uh, some Frio Lager, some what's that? Some LZWA Ale, Rogers Beer, and some Pale Ale. So uh, so far so good. So once again, just like the beers, we're a little bit late. We're all sitting down eating our dinner now, but. Uh, Thanks to Brendan here, he's got a fantastic feed of uh, barramundi and if he's not back soon we might be into that. We are. But we've had uh, some beautiful corn pizza and um, there's a mushroom, a mushroom pizza there as well. So uh, little creatures, plenty here to cater for and it's very very tasty. You'll enjoy it. You know what, we're just leaving little creatures and what a great feed that was. Good feed, nice brews. And uh, we're all done for the day. We head back to Caravan Park, start tidying up, because uh, tomorrow is uh, Wagon Ho again. We'll catch you there. So uh, while we were at our campsite, I was having a look at our wiki camps, and uh, I noticed this place. Tapped on it, and found out it's a 3D mini golf, VR or virtual reality, skate rooms, and uh, looks pretty cool. So we're going to give it a go. It's the first of its kind, I think, in WA. Forgot my hat and my glasses, but we're going in the dark. But we're in this um, these glow rooms. We're going to have um, we're going to do 3D in the dark, glow in the dark, um, mini golf. So yeah, it's the first of its kind in Australia apparently. I think there is another one um, about to be built over on the east. So uh, we're gonna check it out, stay with us. We just finished the glow rooms. The uh, 3D golf was absolutely awesome. I'm sorry, I've got to speak to Jude because she can't talk. Oh, very funny. Uh, I've, I've suddenly, you've got a voice. <laughs> Why have you got a voice, I wonder? Because I did you by miles. Yeah, she trashed me, but hey. Who's... Most of my shots were two putts. Ever heard this woman talk so much? <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh, well. Anyway, highly recommended. Um, a good fun game of... Uh, um, 3D golf, in the dark, 3D glasses, 
it's trying, it was really <laughs> tricky trying to get what we call uh, the undulations and the little obstacles and things that we're throwing at you. Um, but yeah, it was a good challenge. Pleased to done it. Hopefully, some of the vids and the photos turn out, eh? Yeah, it's like our home <laughs> That'll be neat. Anyway, we've got to get back to the, uh, the motorhome. Sadly, we've got to get ready to pack up and go get some supplies and um, make our way south. Our, uh, our time here in Perth is coming to an end. Anyway, catch up tomorrow. All right, bear with me. Still experimenting with microphones and there's a lot of wind out here. So, uh, from Molobites, uh, they're all behind me, pretty awesome. Uh, they look like rocks, but they're ancient forms of microbial communities that photosynthesize, which produce energy from the sunlight. They obtain calcium carbonate from the water and they form these structures, which are uh, about 2000 years old. So 60 million years ago, the ancestors of thrombolites and stromololites produced oxygen, or produced the oxygen needed for life on land to exist. Today, you can only find them in parts of Western Australia and other places around the world. But yeah, they are amazing. Pretty cool. Pretty pleased we came to see them. They're really pretty, pretty as a picture. Can't remember that movie, can you, Jude? The one where, um, like, an alien life form um, uh, laid eggs in the sea, but they were yeah, their own kind. Um, but it was um, these people at an old folks' home or something, they found them and um, reckoned it gave them eternal youth or eternal life or something. Yeah, they gave them youthfulness, that's right. But yeah, that's kind of like what these things remind me of. Wow, pretty awesome spot to come, Lake Clifton. It's sort of like partly between Rockingham and uh, Bunbury. Tucked away into the on the on the uh, the coastal side there. Looks good. Yeah, well, it's definitely well worth the detour. Um, not a lot of room down here for uh, vans, but uh, very, very busy for uh, a lot of people down here daytime traveling and walk the cars down. Managed to drive the van around the loop track and park it back up the road a little bit. Plus there's a, a little brewery down here too, a microbrewery that looks, uh, looks quite, uh, quite neat, nice little setup. Um, but yeah, that was really, really interesting and the conditions were beautiful. I thought it was going to be a little overcast, and, but you couldn't ask for better conditions here, yeah, that was nice. So uh, we're going to go uh, now and uh, find a little park up for the night. Alright, as I told you earlier, we finally made it out of Perth, or Fremantle. And uh, that Lake Clifton area was really nice, those, uh, those old uh, prehistoric rocks and things, those organisms were pretty interesting. So uh, we we'll just come back onto the highway as you can probably hear in the background and uh, hopefully we found a nice little uh, spot here where we can rest up for the night. It's only about, um, I think, 70 k's from um, Bunbury. So uh, that gives us an early sort of start to get into Bunbury and there's um, a couple of um, 48 hour spots here which I'd like to get so uh, hence that's why I'm here. We can make a jump into it. So. Hopefully we'll rest up and the traffic will ease off and uh, we'll have a good night's sleep and early into tomorrow. Oh, good morning. As you can see, we're just about ready to take off. Um, big thumbs up to this little car park. It's um, uh, just around about the Lake Clifton area as you're heading um, south. Um, Judy, Judy will put a, a link down below. A um, little bit of road noise, but it died away about um, 6.30. Um, and didn't sort of start up to about quarter to six so good and huge respect for everybody around here 
um, they've kept it relatively clean and especially the truckies they um, it's shared by truckies and campers and they stayed at one end we we're at the other end and the noise was great so thank you very much everyone so uh, we're heading to Bunbury now so we're going to see what there is there um, so stay tuned what do you reckon if you look down there there's our van you happy with that honey yep yep great view Should nice weather good weather great view we're going to get all registered and see what Bunbury's got yep all right so we finally got our act together after hunting for an information center around Bunbury they're in a temporary uh, location which was a bit hard to find so uh, we've got enough time up our slip well we've got plenty of time now we know where we're going we're going to go to the Dolphin Discovery Center so uh, it's only a short walk from town over to there so uh, we'll get the exercise hey eh, Jude yep feeling better yep getting there <laughs> she's getting there it's a nice little recreational area where you can come down and sit under little shaded areas skate park and a wicked jungle gym looking thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of the biggest I've seen. And then out over the Lestry back into town. Beautiful walk from the uh, the town along the uh, foreshore, and man, they're doing a really nice job of uh, making it uh, friendly there. Great beach area, good play areas, nice walking path, and uh, some nice little sculptures on the way. Oh, yeah, there was a hit. I'll get that on the way back. Jude. That's not graffiti. Meant to look like that. Yeah, too right. She reckons it's been graffiti, but I think uh, it's meant to, meant to look like that, that dolphin. Yeah, it looks good. Nice. Well, here we go. I think we found the spot. If you didn't know, Jude has a thing for dolphins. I mean, who doesn't have a thing for dolphins, I suppose? So uh, she'll be pretty happy. Little distance, you know, um, I'm looking at a carp museum, maybe. But uh, definitely a pretty impressive looking center here. Looks nice. And it only took us about 25 minutes, I suppose, to walk from town over into here. Alrighty, so we just paid for our uh, ticket into the Discovery Centre. It's about $18 for an adult to get in. And here we are. Wow. We're greeted by a huge aquarium. So at the uh, at the dolphin um, center here in Bunbury, there's a little um, digital aquarium over there, and you can come here and do a drawing. I made a dolphin with sweet as our being in it. I wonder what Judy's doing. Someone took us down there. What do you got there, Judy? A turtle. Hey. A turtle. 
So we've got some, got some up already. So what do we got? Oh, here it is, a slow turtle. Nothing wrong with my turtle. Pop it down on this little scanner. Push the scan button. Oh, oh, oh what? Oh, Lordy. It's about me for the uh, Discovery Centre. Looks like Jude's had a heap of fun. I think she, like me, enjoyed that, uh, that screen. That was cool. But uh, nice displays. Got a nice bit of uh, artwork here on our way back from the dolphin place. I don't know whether it will stand out very well, but uh, it's a bit of a 3D, 3D art. Anyway, making our way back from the dolphin place. We're going to go via the. Uh, there's a pretty cool looking lookout. So we're going to go up there and. Uh, Get the views, see how this microphone holds out. Go and check it out. But uh, here, yeah, it's nice to see plenty of people out here enjoying the uh, beautiful beach of Bunbury. There it is out there. That's yeah, pretty nice little walkway, eateries. Um, yeah. Good. Interesting building behind me. About, uh, I know, it must have been 12 years, I don't know the full facts, so don't quote me, but I believe they're made of silos. Up we go. This, I believe, will be to Mal Marlston Lookout, I think it is. Jesus says, what? We're going to climb up some stairs. This wouldn't be a lookout if it didn't have stairs. Little did I tell her that this is just the hill. Coming into view now is the Mumbry Lighthouse. Well, I won't be in the view for a while here, we'll lose it. We'll lose it behind these trees. But uh, we'll get it as it goes a bit further. Can't find any facts about it, I'm sure Jude will find uh, height and age and all that sort of stuff. But one fact that I do know out there, there's been a fair few ships lost. So, uh, I guess that's one of the reasons there's a lighthouse here. What an absolute minter of a day. Look at that. Oh, it's been beautiful. Great little stay here at uh, Bunbury. 48 hour, um, I think it's Ocean Front Road or something like that. Um, had a great feed down at the, uh, I think it was sort of the Back Beach Cafe, it was nice. Um, just whilst um, I'm talking, Jude's gonna hopefully pop up here yesterday's little activities which I ruined again with my damn microphone so we went to the uh, put up there Jude a uh, the BGMM the Bunbury Geograph Motor Museum awesome little spot um, they did really really well in there it's nice um, there was York York had a, 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 it was a big area um, had a lot more sort of older sort of vintage sort of cars and things but the uh, the Bunbury uh, Geograph 
motor museum. Yeah, it was uh, it was shiny. <laughs> They've really um, uh, got some really nicely presented vehicles there. It was smaller, but um, the quality was uh, really really nice. And if you're lucky enough, um, you might get a little bit of a uh, an invite to, to ride the. Uh, we've got a, a 3D type buddy driving machine there. That was awesome. It was good. Judy had a go, she did really, really well. And then of course I jumped in the seat and I had to beat her, had to beat her. I did absolutely hopeless on the first um, try, but the second try, yep. So I drove, uh, I think it was a uh, one of them Ferraris. Yeah, it wasn't looking too good at the end of it. And uh, I think it was a Collie track or something I went around. And yeah, two minutes 55. I got second, but yeah, the Ferrari was worse, worse for wear. And I think the uh, the drivers weren't too happy with what I did to their ones. <laughs> But anyway, uh, good little spot down here. Um, try your luck and see whether you can get one of the parks here. They're pretty popular. Today, we're gonna probably have a little bit of a quieter sort of day, um, a little bit of catch up at work. I mean, things like these are very, very uh, distracting. So um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Thank you for watching this um, little circuit here of uh, Bunbury. Remember to uh, push that uh, comment, like, subscribe button, and we can bring you some more. So stick with us, enjoy. I believe they're made of silos. I don't know whether it was an existing silos that were there or they've been put there or built there, but yeah, they were, um, I think 2000, well, 2000, I don't know how long ago I saw them. Anyway, an interesting fact, the buildings behind me are salt, salt silos. An interesting fact, the buildings behind me, no, go around here.